Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be using the power couplings to build a medieval catapult. In fact, not just a normal catapult, we're going to be building a trebuchet and yeah, so <laughs> let's get to it. All right, so I've pulled up a reference image here and the basic frame for a trebuchet is kind of kind of simple actually. So this wouldn't take too long to build. I think I'm going to use a combination of, yeah, we're going to use some heavy blocks here so we can keep it firmly to the ground and uh, copy them across just like over here. Okay, that's cool. And we can just start working on this frame. So I think the main challenge of today will actually be getting this trebuchet to actually function. Okay, what we need now are the beams. Okay, that's pretty cool. Time to add these side beams for the extra support on the trebuchet okay so this side of the framework has just been finished all i need to do is copy that across to the other side and connect it all at the bottom right there we go there's our frame for the trebuchet i have a seat on the side so i can control it but yeah this is pretty big decently sized i would say but now it's actually time to start working on the uh, mechanics of this so it's essentially just a giant stick with a massive weight on the end and then rope that connects to the uh the little sack that carries the projectile i think how we're gonna launch the projectile is once it gets enough momentum we detach it with a detachable block and same for the release mechanism we just use a detachable block to release the weight so it just drops and the catapult will just go shoom. this works pretty well in real life physics but does it work in trail makers physics? Well, we have our connection now, so I'm going to use these rotating servos and I'm actually going to make sure that both of these servos have zero strength. So they're just fully rotating and let's keep building out the size of this beam. And for our giant weight, we need it to be on a free moving hinge or rotation piece as well. So I'm thinking if I use helicopter engines, obviously again with no input and then connect our weights to this somehow maybe like this now i just need to make a giant block of weight <laughs> okay we have some weight that's looking pretty cool i don't know how much weight this is exactly i mean i can find out but i just need to delete everything else 1900 kg 1900 kg all right let's bring everything back cool and here we go i'm gonna spawn it in and let's just see the physics Okay, that looked like it had a lot of strength there. Like, I mean, that really jolts the beam quite quick. I don't want it to release so quickly, though, because I think it needs time to actually settle. Because look at that rocking there we have going on. So this is where I add my safety mechanism. So like I was saying before, if I get my detachable block here, there we go. And let me make sure I have no controls in any of these blocks. Okay, so we should be able to spawn in. Cool. And then when I press E, nothing happens. What? Wait, what? That makes no sense. Servos are spinning. Oh, guys, this is a problem. Is it because... Hang on. Let's, uh, let's just try and figure this out. Spawn it in. Detach. Right, well... <laughs> That clearly doesn't work. I don't know why that's not working. Okay, well, there goes that plan. The thing is, I really want this trebuchet to be all physics powered. So like no control inputs to like the servos or anything. I just want it to just use the physics of this weight going down and pulling this arm up to launch the uh, projectile. So it looks like just for today's experiment, I just have to spawn it in as fast as I can. As soon as it's spawned in, it will just launch. I think I can have some more weight on this. I feel like I should add more weight. Is that, is that too much weight? <laughs> okay, we have some more weight. Give that a test. That looks quite powerful to me. Before I add the power coupling and the actual projectile, I do think we can work on this just a little bit further because on these reference images I'm looking at on the trebuchets, the beam tends to be diagonal, which, uh, I mean, the weight will start off higher, right? And then give the arm more time to gather more momentum. So I think we need to somehow turn this beam from a straight beam into a diagonal one, which should be easy enough to do. This might take a lot of complexity. That seems to be a way to go about this. Okay, that's looking more like a trebuchet. I don't know how much difference this is going to give, but let's just give it a test. You know what? Not too bad. Not too bad indeed. I still need to add more weight to this thing though. 
There we go. More weight to the base. Well, let's add our power couplings now. Another technicality that I need to get around is the fact that on a trebuchet, the string or rope that they use usually goes into this compartment in the trebuchet, which houses the uh, actual projectile. And then it just gathers a bunch of speed when this weight drops to go shoom, like that in that direction. But I don't know how to do that right now. So I can only do this straight. And obviously I could probably do this. Well, before we do, let's see how it acts with just a rope and one projectile. And to detach the projectile itself, I'm going to have a distance sensor right here. So when this weight drops, it's going to detect the weight and then detach this detachable block. And it should be whilst it's like up here. We'll see. We'll, we'll make adjustments if we need to. That is kind of lame. What? Is it because that block is kind of weightless? Do we need some weight on our projectile? Maybe the distance sensor needs to set off a little earlier. Maybe if I put it there. Okay. What? Whoa. <laughs> oh my God. What happened there? All right. Let's just backspace. The detachable block actually goes further than the actual projectile. What? Okay, yeah, it needs to launch a little earlier. It needs to, like, let go when it's right here. Oh, there you go. That was pretty good, right? Okay, I think we do some more changes here. We're gonna make this projectile a little bigger. Or heavier, I should say. Okay, well, let's just go for two, 100 kg. 100 kg on the projectile. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that went so far. I'm trying to get a good camera angle on this for you guys. Here, let me repair. It could go further, but right now that's pretty good. So I'm just going to keep tweaking this thing. Put the detachable block there. Off it goes. Oh, whoa, that went really high. Maybe if I sit here in first person, I could probably see the projectile. But I also think the projectile is too heavy now. So let's swap it out one more time. And we're going to use some dynamite because obviously it's a it's a weapon. This thing is a weapon. So if I have four dynamite just like this, I need to connect these somehow. Right. We have our package. The dynamite has been installed. Here we go. Awesome. Let's get a better POV of that. Here we go. Respawn. Launch. That's actually really cool. So the, the physics do translate pretty well into trail makers. It's just that I don't seem to have quite enough momentum. To launch it further because it doesn't go too far like imagine if i could just shoot this thing or launch the projectile across the map that would be awesome maybe more weight i'm not sure if that's doing anything i can't tell how far these projectiles are going because they you know they explode launch that one oh that seems to be the furthest one so far. Okay, cool. I think we hit the nail on the head here. I'm just going to spam a bunch more weights. Because why not? There we go. This is a trebuchet. Whoa, okay, alright. Something's happening. Something is not working there. Oh my god. Okay, so the more weights, the more glitchy, obviously. Alright, let's, let's take it back a version because... Those weights are glitching out. Yeah, no, this seems to be my favorite version of this trebuchet. It seems to go the furthest out of all of the experiments so far. Oh, you know what I haven't messed around with? Is the stiffness of the power coupling. So let's go to zero stiffness. Now there shouldn't be any tension in the, uh, the actual beam itself. Oh, okay. Well, that did not go well. All right, the trebuchet exploded, but the projectile went pretty high. Oh, Mr. Trebuchet, why are you so faulty? I can't tell if... Oh, okay, we're, we're still breaking here. 
Something's not right. I can't tell if the projectile is going further now that the rope is on zero stiffness. All right. I think that distance sensor there that was popping out was giving it a few problems. Now we'll try. So this is on zero stiffness. Let's go. That was almost perfect. I realized something else I can do for this thing is make the uh, mechanism here higher. And now the servos are right at the top of the... Uh, frame here so this means this weight will have a lot more clearance space when falling through the mechanism here we go let's spawn it in oh my okay well i thought i fixed the problem but clearly not but the projectile was pretty good to be honest i think it's just like the the amount of weight the trebuchet actually weighs is just making everything explode okay we're bringing the stiffness of the rope back up because i actually preferred it and then we're gonna save this version because it's kind of the most effective let's give this thing a paint job though trebuchets are typically made out of wood <laughs> so we're just gonna go for a good old wood theme here easy and obviously we're not, we want our dynamite to be actually looking like dynamite so and here we have it guys we have our trebuchet spawn it in and launch okay cool so this square is like the target zone right now so i can put some vehicles here to explode ah yes let's blow up my ac 130 <laughs> okay we need to make sure we're like lined up looking in the direction of the ac 130 yep so when i repair off it goes oh direct hit my trebuchet glitched out though oops <laughs> that was pretty cool it's still alive though well no it's not alive it's still in a big piece i could destroy it more that's what i'm trying to say and this is all that remains of my trebuchet this is fine though we can just repair oh whoa that really really glitched out and that's the furthest i've made the projectile go by glitching out there <laughs> i'm gonna have to spawn a new one here we go three two one no didn't quite make it all right okay so it's the success rate of this thing isn't that high oh my god maybe if i double up the couplings i, I, I just think the couplings are glitching out all right, so we've got two couplings side by side to carry the dynamite. No, I just made it worse. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, now it's fully broken. Well, <laughs> that's the best I can do, I guess, for this trebuchet today. It's been a pretty wild experiment. Um, oh, something exploded in the background there. Did I accidentally launch one like, into the sky? Let me get rid of some weight here. Maybe that'll fix it. Three, two, one. No. <laughs> well, clearly I've got some work to do if I want to be a medieval engineer. But this was a pretty fun experiment. You should definitely let me know what else I should attempt next. Maybe um, we can do some more things with the tension of the couplings. Like maybe a giant slingshot. Hmm. What do you guys think? But anyway... That's enough from this video today. It has been a good one. And whilst you're at it, why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, that's enough from me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.